Thank you. Almost Thank everyone you. on the streets of Cabramatta in Sydney's southwest knows her face and her name. Thank you so much, Di. It's a great country. I'm so proud to be a Veteran independent local councillor and former Liberal Di Lee has pulled off a political miracle, turning a once very safe Labor seat independent and defeating the Labor parachute candidate Christina Keneally. Ms Keneally wasn't available, but Di Lee was. It's, you know, what, three days in after the election. <laughs> Give me time to just absorb it. It's a stunning victory for Di Lee, who as a seven-year-old girl fled Vietnam in 1975 with her mum and her sisters by boat. And now she's off to Canberra, becoming the first Australian with Vietnamese heritage in federal parliament. I sat there in my lounge room and I literally looked back at that time when I was on the boat uh, in the middle of the ocean and with my mum my and my two younger sisters. And I remember how fearful that moment was for me because I thought, we thought we were going to die. One, two, three, camera man. Cabramatta in the seat of Fowler was once home to Gough Whitlam, but Labor's legacy wasn't enough. One, two, three, Fowler! Diley demolished the party's 14% margin with a 16% swing towards her. Thank you very yeah. much. We got it. Okay, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Menzies, years ago, talked about the forgotten people of Australia, but we are the real forgotten people because it's such a safe Labor seat. Labor didn't care about us. The Liberals that don't care about us. It started with a messy Labor pre-selection last year. The popular and retiring incumbent Chris Hayes had put forward a young lawyer to Lee, a Vietnamese Australian who had close links to the community. The party rejected that, installing Senator Christina Keneally in a factional deal to ensure Ms Keneally would not lose her spot in the Senate. Christina Keneally was born in the United States came to Australia and is another great Australian success story of a migrant who's come here and became the New South Wales Premier. And I have no doubt hers is a migrant success story, but the migrants and the refugees here is, 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 is not of the same league as Christina Keneally. When 7.30 caught up with the new member for Fowler, she was taking a moment to catch her breath, stopping by her local beauty salon. Small business was a key focus of her campaign. All right, whatever. I can see my nails done. It's broken. <laughs> so what colour are you going for? Uh, going for light pink. Not teal? No, I'm a, not a teal independent. <laughs> Unlike the wealthy electorates where the Teals have been swept to power, Fowler is proudly working class. And Di Lee has moved quickly to differentiate herself from her fellow crossbenchers. The Teal independent uh, uh, electorates are very much affluent. Um, they have other things they can worry about, whereas my electorate, we actually have to worry about food on the table, the climate change issue, um, federal ICAC issue, I mean it is important for us, but for me it's about our health system, our elderly ageing population. Di Lee says she's willing to speak to the Teals and the Labor government. Much has been made about the fact that a large part of the population here shares Di Lee's Vietnamese heritage. But was she really elected based just on her cultural background or did it come back to something more essential? That she was a local candidate in a seat where local issues mattered. Fowler shows that people will see through cynical ploys and that they don't want to be taken for granted and when they feel like you take them for granted they are more than willing to punish you. I don't think that cult her cultural background was the key reason but it definitely helped. Christina Keneally. Late on Sunday, Christina Keneally conceded defeat on election night, she thanked her supporters. Friends, thank you so much for that incredibly warm welcome. And thank you so much for your amazing work on this campaign. Thank you. 
A one-seat loss hasn't stopped Labor from forming government. But Tu Lee, the former would-be Labor candidate, says the party needs to change. I voiced my disappointment months ago uh, when it was announced that uh, Christina Keneally was to be parachuted into Fowler. Uh, nothing has changed on that front. I think the only thing is that the community, the local community, have um, spoken. Dai Lee, meantime, is now preparing for life in the Canberra bubble. How worried are you that Canberra, being in Canberra in the bubble, will change who you are? Nah. I have been in politics since 2008. I'm still the same Dai Lee. I think I will probably disrupt Parliament as much as I, I have disrupted the political process. Uh, and, 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 and I think my um, election here have hi has highlighted that fact. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.